You guys all remember Blackout, you know, Call of Duty's first ever Battle Royale. Yeah, that thing was a good time while it lasted. You know, it was great. It was tied to Black Ops 4, which was definitely a thing and all that. Well, I think a lot of us probably assumed that it was kind of done with. We're never going to see again, especially after seeing Warzone's success and it also being free to play where Blackout wasn't and stuff like that. Well, believe it or not, we may actually be seeing Blackout return in one way, shape or form. Yeah, I know. This is something that no one even thought of before, but recently we've got some information that may actually turn that not even a thought into a possibility but what exactly is this information that i'm talking about is it just a discourse people are having a leaker or is it even something i came up in my own brain well believe it or not i did not make up this myself and instead it's actually coming from activision themselves yeah you heard me correctly this is activision who started all of this because recently they were sending out some surveys to players try to get a vibe of what the players want and stuff like that they'll definitely ignore all of it but you know they at least sent them out which is nice and one of the questions that was asked during the survey was really eye-opening and i'll put it on screen for you guys also shout out to charlie intel for actually sharing this but what it said was which of the following would you prefer to see for the next Warzone big map? An all new map, Return of Verdansk 84, Return of Caldera, Return of the original Verdansk, and then the one that we're all focused on, Return of the Blackout map. So yeah, the Blackout map could actually return and it could come to Warzone 2. This is what Activision is literally asking in this survey which is an insane thought because i don't even think the biggest blackout fans even thought this was a possibility i know i didn't think about it like this thought never even crossed my head as a possibility but now we are seeing directly from activision that this is something that is at least being considered to at least some level but let's stop and take a little breather before we go a bit too crazy and we do have to understand that obviously this does not mean for sure the blackout map is coming to warzone like obviously that's the case this is simply a survey at the end of the day and even if everybody who takes a survey votes for the blackout map to return this is still activision at the end of the day they don't listen to their community very often anyways so i really wouldn't expect that much if i'm being completely honest but it still is an idea and because of that we're going to go a bit crazy now and talk about how would this actually work out if the blackout map did return because as someone who really liked blackout like a lot i think within the first few months of it being out i hit 100 wins like incredibly fast my most played battle royale by far and it's not even close like normally i don't even like battle royales but blackout i really liked so you know there is a big blackout fanboy here so right away you would think like i would think this is the greatest thing ever right well i, I wish but i don't know about that because i think about what's really happening here like what would happen here is that blackout's not coming back this would be blackout with warzone 2 mechanics so all the mechanics that are currently working inside of Warzone would be working on the Blackout map they would add, which initially sounds good because there's a lot of cool Warzone mechanics, obviously with the buy stations, money, buybacks, uh, the streaks and stuff like that, all the really cool features that we really like about Warzone that I think would be great for Blackout. But you have to keep in mind, a lot of the other things I really don't think would work for the Blackout map would also be there. And why I think this is a big problem is that think of how the Blackout map is laid out. It's a very open map. Like the map is a couple concentrated areas with a lot of open areas in between them. And a lot of the time you're going to be walking through those open areas. And this is a very big problem when it comes to the Warzone 2 mechanics, because think about Warzone 2 for a second. The time to kill is extremely fast. The guns shoot incredibly straight and there's no equipment to help you with your mobility like all of that exists in warzone 2 so what i'm saying is if you're caught in the open in warzone 2 you're going to be dropped incredibly fast like so fast and that's a really big problem because most of the blackout map is open so what's probably going to end up happening is that whoever has the high ground or is camping on top of a building is going to instantly drop you like that's probably what's going to happen it's going to be a very campy experience because there is so much open area and don't get me wrong in the original blackout there were a lot of people who did camp on top of hills or people who camped on top of buildings but at least there was ways to counteract that because in that game the time to kill was way slower 
So even if you were caught in the open, you would at least try to do some movement to get away. But on top of that, the guns didn't shoot nearly as straight in that game. So it was harder for the people who were camping to even just beam you and instantly kill you. And then finally, there was some equipment to quickly move around. And I'm mainly talking about the grapple gun. The grapple gun could get you out of a lot of bad situations. Grapple out of the open area real quick. Or even it was great for dealing with those campers we talked about. Like the campers who camped on top of hills and buildings. Like sure, they were annoying, but you could actually deal with them because of the grapple gun you just pull up on someone they fly up in the air with that grapple gun and you instantly kill them like there was ways to deal with them whereas in whereas in warzone 2 it obviously doesn't have any of that and in fact it has mainly the opposite like especially with the time to kill the one that i think really would kill this blackout map just like being caught in the open and getting insta dropped would just suck so much and if we're being completely honest that's probably what's going to happen a lot if blackout was added to warzone 2 and because of that i really don't think the map would play incredibly well with warzone and the only way it would is if they really made some fundamental changes to the game and obviously a big one that I keep coming back to is that time to kill but i honestly don't think they're really going to change that so if it did return i don't think it would be a great time as much as it hurts me to say that as a humongous blackout fan I just don't think it would play incredibly well. But regardless though, those are simply my thoughts on this. Do you guys agree with me or even disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below on what you think of this whole idea of Blackout coming to Warzone. Regardless though, that's gonna wrap it up for me. If you guys did enjoy the video, I would appreciate if you guys dropped a like, subscribe, bell, share, or any of that great stuff. But I'm gonna go and I'll catch you guys next stream video or whatever the heck it may be. And uh, laters guys.